Hey everybody, welcome back to your point of the game of League of Legends. I'm the Strategy Professor. We're doing a little recon action again here today. Picked recon. Um, he's an okay pick. I just I wanted a little bit more engage for the Jinx. I don't know if I fully trust. I assume Jarvan will get on her, but if they have a really hard, like, if they outscale a lot harder than we do, which Jinx does over Jin, then I just want to make sure we get on them. And it's pretty good with Jen if you rush Zeke's. The extra damage obviously scales really well with his fourth shot. Now into Thresh, it's interesting because I mean you can go Mikhail's on Recon. It's not the worst thing in the world, but First it's not the greatest either. They're gonna kill that tree. They might double kill it there. Uh, he flashed out, I think. Breathe in the atmosphere. Hey, Shard. Uh, yeah, we don't allow any links just because I can't verify them while I'm in game. Stuff like that, so there's just no links. You can tell people to go check something out if it's like germane to what's going on on the stream. Hmm. That Thresh play was on point, or I would have, that probably would have turned in our favor. Yeah, if you become a um, a member, I can talk about the member system. I'm going to have a video about it. We had members night last night. Um... Doing such a great support stream, Professor. Hopefully, we can see you rise back up to Plat One and maybe even the legendary diamond. Okay, if thank you, you friend. Time, I'd love to see some brawn play. Brawn. Okay. All right, thank you so much. And I give you a shout out by name as soon as I can look at the. Um, I don't see the cat, or I think it's like the guy with the money. Um, for money donations or the cat reading the book for uh, subs. I don't see that on the stream if you don't know how that works It's just an overlay, so I don't see it in game although you guys and gals see it so I have to look after the game And I, I can't really see it between games I guess if I had my stream live streaming on the side, if I had my uh, stream comments live going on the side, I could see it, but... I think Braum's actually pretty strong in competitive play right now. I just... In solo queue, it's a bit harder for me. Also, I'm just not very good with him, because I don't practice him a lot, so... Well, that's a thing. The classic, do the dragon before I get the sight stone. Not exactly worth, but you know, it, do what we can do. I mean, so Braum is very good into, um, Thresh, and he's very good in a misfortune, or not Thresh, um, Twitch and Misfortune. 
because he blocks their ultimate. All of it. So he's very good against area of effect things that are like line shots. Which are great. Uh, careful, I'm coming. Damn it. Oh, so close. I miss Zaya. I, mean, I don't play Braum a lot, but I think that in higher elos, I think he's good. And in professional play, I think he's pretty good. He's one of those you have to have the higher scaling AD carry a lot of times to really leverage him. Um, we are going to get Ardent Sensor eventually. I guess we can go ahead and grab that. And, like, maybe one more control ward. Oh, I need to get boots. Dang, I'm really slow. Definitely need to get Moby's next. I don't think I had 300. What? I charmed him! God, seriously? How did he not get charmed by that? Wow. I shouldn't have gone in like that. I thought Corky was going to be closer for me to jump. I was used to playing that Zaya game that I just finished. That was bad. I don't need to understand the plan. I, trust my I really don't understand how Zed did not get charmed by that. Speed boost costs too much gold. I've stopped getting it. It's like, you know, an additional 800 gold or so. An ally has been slain. It don't take a lot of words to tell the truth. They're all dead. Yeah, don't. Someone mentioned Corky also. Just don't do Corky. I know they're doing it in pro play. Just, I don't even like it in pro play, honestly. I don't understand why people are playing him again. I don't get it. I really don't. He's very, very mid game centric. Like, if you fall behind, like right now, if you go 0 and 3, he has huge problems. So I'm not saying this Corky's a bad player. As usual, I'm just critiquing the pick because I don't. Maybe I just don't get it, but I mean they changed his damage to be mostly magic damage. But so he can like go penetration if he wants, but I, I just I don't know. I didn't like him even in solo queue, even when he was really popular before they nerfed him like three or four times. I just don't like that type of champion. I just don't think Poke is very good right now in solo queue, especially. Even in pro play. I mean I'd much rather see um Syndra, Cassiopeia, Katarina, Echo, Fizz. It's like real damage.
I don't know. I just, I don't, he's, I guess he's alright sometimes. I just feel like he gets murdered by assassins, and I just feel like assassins are the best style of mid laner right now, especially for solo queue. I'm just not sure what he's supposed to beat. I've seen in pro play people pick him into like Syndra and stuff, and I don't get that. They're like, oh, he can just go like Hex Drinker and be okay, I guess. I mean, maybe I, I just haven't studied him enough to really understand what the, what the deal is. Honestly, I don't know why more people don't play Cassiopeia, other than she's just hard to play. I feel like she's almost always really good. I mean, they're making a play on like having a strong mid-game, but... Why is nobody dead? What? Why is nobody dead? I don't understand. Oh, we have Jin. <laughs> I mean, how did nobody die in that? It was a triple knockup. Nobody's dying. This is why you don't play Quirky mid. This is why you don't play Gen bottom. Because nobody does any damage. Like, how does nobody die there? The triple knock up here. Knocked up like three people here under tower. It's a jinx. Like, how does she not die? We had Renekton poured in. He doesn't have any damage because he rushed Maw Malmortius against Maokai. Just build damage, people. Just build damage in solo queue. If you're not the support, just build damage. Even sometimes the support, you can build damage. I don't know. That's sad. That makes me. That makes me. That makes me sad inside. I just don't get how nobody dies. We have a Renekton teleport right on top of like three people who are like stunned, charmed, or whatever. Got Jar is Jarvan not damage either? No. I guess he's kind of building damage, but... He doesn't have Warrior. That's his problem. Warrior's OP as heck. Vision is the first step towards understanding. Sad. I'll stop being sad and be awesome instead. True story. He's dead top. I don't think we can get anything else though. I don't know. I mean this a lot of itemization and pick problems here, I think, but I mean I kill Jinx, yeah, like the third time I crowd controlled her or something, the second or the third time. But they did way, way too much damage there. Like, they should have died the first time down here where they got crowd control before they started killing people. He's gone. Ally has been slain. Enemy rampage. I mean, they're just playing better than we are. That's just all there is to it. I just don't win games with Jen, man. 
It was our ADC last game. It wasn't Jin. I know we lost the other Jin game. I remember specifically talking about how Jin didn't do damage in the other game. It was looking pretty good too. What did we have last game? I don't understand why people aren't dying when Jarvan ults them. Oh, he got Chain Vest. That's why. Like, usually when Jarvan ults people, they just die. He's dead. Oh, look at that! It actually worked! The charm! We do have some dragons, and we have a dragon. The game's still winnable. It's not like it's impossible. It's just our damage is starting to catch up with us. Jin went Ghost Blade too. Like, you really, really want to be going Dusk Blade if you go in the Lethality build. It did get nerfed, but it's still, like, ridiculous. Hey, thanks, Shayla. I appreciate it. I appreciate you sticking around too. Stop talking to myself. Damn it, Zaya, where are you? I really don't like the mute all. I've had people say that. Like, the, my thing is, you have to be the babysitter. Like, if someone's being toxic, sometimes it sucks having to listen to that. But you have to talk them off the ledge. At least that's how I feel about it. For me, I feel like you, you kind of have to talk them off the ledge. Just tell them to like not give up, stop AFKing, we can actually win instead of just muting them and not saying anything. It is a little bit harder on your own psyche to have to try to babysit and deal with them and you shouldn't have to do that, but I feel like it's just something that you have to do if you want to win over time. Sometimes you just need to know textual things. My god, this is a fight that like never ends. Um either go Val or Locket. I mean Locket would be pretty good too. Just a shield for the I have to go Locket just to shield. Knight's Val's probably not gonna do it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to lock it, or I could redemption. I think I'm gonna go redemption. I spent a little too long on that, but it's hard because they don't have any AP.
it's a tough call because if they had any sort of Just because they have like no AP that I don't think Locket is that viable. The mobility on their team is really annoying. They have so much. Gotta get myself hyped. Okay. One, two, one, two. Woo! Alright. I need to save at least one shield for the gym, though. He's not getting any defense. Fod said if he might stream if people want to watch him. He's a guy that I do it with sometimes. There you go. Fod shout out.
for us, it is broader than air. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to scout around. I know I need well the problem is all these fights are going on in lanes and I can't like run around to these dangerous places to ward. You're only given a little of madness. Like we're just fighting in this area, you know, up and down that river for a long time, and I can't run into their woods this late against that Zed or I'm just gonna die if he catches me in the river. So I have to be with people when Zed finds me. So I'm trying to ward as best I can, but I also, because of their composition, I'm very limited in how I can ward. scared of dark they're scared of magic they are scared of where i'm from Might get like a locket or a knight. Well, locket would probably be bad here. I'll probably get a knight's vow last item, but I don't want to do that until I have the full amount for it. I'd rather have control wards and uh, flask. That wall partitioned me off from everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and do it while everyone's grouped up there so that no one runs out of it. Alright, we got them, boys and girls. I totally forgot my wife brought me these sandwiches like three hours ago. Alright, I was recording that one too, that's good.
Hey, what's up, Carter? Well, thanks for tuning in, friend. Of course, J4 gets all the honor. Yeah, three-hour-old sandwiches. It's uh, it's just peanut butter and jelly, so none of it's going to go bad, I don't think, in terms of, like, make me sick. But anyways, uh, the stream's going to continue, but that's it for uh, the Recon video, so thank you very much. Special shout-out to Archer for donating this skin. I know he wanted to see um, Recon games, I think, a couple of days ago, and we just could not find a match where Recon was going to work out, or it didn't look... I, I just couldn't pull it off, unfortunately. We tried, and I think someone dodged, but anyways... Here you go. So thank you very much, Archer, for donating the skin. I really appreciate it. I will be playing Recon a lot more. Just played him twice tonight. He is very good. Uh, I think he's a pretty good combo with Jin if you need that hard engage. So, um, oh my gosh. Jinx got the Blade of the Ruined King. Well, that, that explains quite a bit. But anyways, thank you very much. Uh, have a good day, and I'll see you next time.